What's My Line? Brought to you by Kellogg's. Kellogg's Cereals. The best to you each morning from Kellogg's of Battle Creek. Now let's all play What's My Line? And now, live from New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. Thank you. There's going to be a bright new shiny star in the musical theater this year on Broadway. A boy that we've all thought of as an absolutely darling, sweet, enchanting singer. He's now going to play a very unsavory character, but it's the lead in a marvelous, marvelous play, What Made Sammy Run, Mr. Steve Lawrence. Thank you. On my left, a young lady that knows more lyrics to more songs than I do, nationally syndicated columnist, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And now on my left, the man who published What Makes Sammy Run, Bennett Sir. Girls. Now here's Sammy Glick. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, you look as pretty as Judy Garland did a little while oh, ago. I can't say any more than that. She looked great. Well, our panel moderator has had a busy, busy week this week. Half of it spent drooling over a new baby boy that his wonderful wife, Virginia, presented with it Monday morning, and the other half studying the sources of the Mississippi River. John <laughs> Charles Daly. I've had a very difficult decision to make all day. The truth of the matter is I've been so busy in the first instance that I've had no time for the second, <laughs> i.e. to study the sources of the Mississippi River. However, <laughs> I have had to decide whether I should not take advantage of the fact that the first instance, the birth of my new son, gave me a perfect excuse for mislocating the Mississippi River, if indeed I have mislocated the Mississippi River. So I think I'll take advantage of it and forgive you all, I mean, ask you all to forgive me. <laughs> How's that? And I must say, it's very nice to see you, Steve, on Thank the you, panel. Thank and I congratulate you, as Arlene did, on the new part, the difficult part, and I'm sure another milestone in a, a very successful career for you. Thank you very much. And uh, now that we've done all the polite things, look out. Because <laughs> we've got some wonderfully interesting people coming in tonight with some interesting occupations. We will also have a famous mystery challenger before my friends on the panel a little bit later in the program. And we'll meet our first challenger after this word. And now to meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Tamara. Krasina, is that right? <laughs> is it Miss or Mrs. Krasina? It's Miss. Miss Krasina, and where are you from? Moscow, Russia. Moscow, Russia? Yes. Well, how nice to have you. Is this your first visit to the United States? Oh, yes. You enjoyed what you've wonderful. seen of us? It's oh, wonderful. well, that's wonderful. Miss Krasina, may I present our panel? How do you do? And now, will you join me over here? Coming all the way from Moscow, Russia, I'd have to ask you if you, anybody has told you or if you know how we keep score on What's My Line. Oh, if you please. All righty. Every time the panel asks a question which you can properly answer no, we'll flip a card. <laughs> If we flip ten cards before they get out, get your occupation, mm -hmm. then you win the game. Otherwise, they win the game. All right? There are four. I'm there are, alone. Well, oh, but you have me to help you. And okay. with Bennett over there, you see, that practically okay, makes it know. even. All right. And now, let's let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. Panel, we 
can tell you that Miss Christina <coughs> is salaried and deals in a service. <laughs> and, <coughs> pardon me, we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett, sir. Well, Miss Christina, there is a superb circus in town now called the Moscow Circus. And I naturally jumped to the conclusion that you may have something to do with that circus. Is that correct? Yes. I think it's only fair to say here that Miss Christina does indeed have something to do with the Moscow Circus. She acts as uh, one of the staff of the circus, but what we're really getting at is her occupation at home in Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, which has nothing oh. to do with, the, uh, we presume, it has nothing to do with the Moscow Circus. Is that right? When, you when mean the occupation at home that we're get going for has nothing to do with the circus that is that's now right. playing here. Is that correct? That's yeah. right. You do two things then. <laughs> In Moscow. You do this <laughs> service in Moscow. Uh, do you ever come into contact with foreigners in the job that you do in Moscow? No. That's one down and nine to go. Miss Francis. Comrade Christina, is there something that you do that is... Uh, that has to do with instruction in any way? In any way, yes. In any way. Where'd you, get uh, a, where'd you get a fine Scottish accent? No. <laughs> uh, do you perhaps teach in a school? No. Uh, we'll just have to have a small conference. <laughs> <laughs> you find you my year. It's Russian, John. <laughs> Nichevo, John. <laughs> <laughs> We would have to say here, there's a matter of, of uh, definition, but mm -hmm. we would, I think, with Miss um, Krasina's permission, <coughs> Krasina's permission, we will agree that uh, in, as we use the term school generally, yes, we'd give you a yes to that. Well, does she instruct children? No. That makes it two down and eight to go, Mr. Lawrence. Would you instruct adults? Yes. Could I apply for your class, or... I hope your good wife... looks have anything to do with uh, your services? May I put a question? Well, I'll put do it another way if I can. Do your, do your good looks have anything to do, necessarily, with no. your occupation? No. Pity. No. What a waste, right? Three yeah. down of seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, Miss Krasina, is that the correct pronunciation? Mm -hmm. Krasina. Uh, Miss Krasina, Krasina. Uh, uh, Ms. Krasina uh, do you have anything to do with Russia's scientific efforts. No. That's four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Krasina, have you got anything to do with the women of Russia? No. No? Uh, <laughs> small conference. Terribly sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. With uh, uh, Miss Krasina's permission, we will change that answer to yes. There is a relationship between the the service which is pervaded by Miss Krasina and the members of the mm -hmm. distaff side, yes. But uh, is, it, is it any as the service that you perform, Miss Krasina, anything to do with work that is done inside the home? Just a moment, inside the home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Now wait a minute. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you don't know how it is in her home, John. <laughs> The <laughs> no. no, Bennett, I'm sorry about that. That's five down no. and five to go. That's no, Miss Francis. Don't let him talk you down, Miss Francis. May I rule out the fact that uh, uh, Miss uh, Krasina has nothing to do with teaching English? May I rule out the fact that Miss Krasina has nothing to do? That's she does negative. teach English, is what I really right. mean. Right. <laughs> We've got to flip all the cards, though, because Miss Cressina's got to win tonight anyway, no matter what happens. <laughs> but actually, Miss Cressina teaches English at the Moscow College for Foreign Languages, right? Sure. And she is here, as you have been told, with the Moscow Circus, and is acting as interpreter uh -huh. for the circus, uh, which uh, she finds fascinating. As she said that everybody is disappointed when they talk to her. They ask her, does she do something in the circus, perform yeah. in the circus? She says no, and, she's, and says everybody's disappointed. I don't think anybody would be disappointed if you just stood there and looked at them from the ring. Thank you. But I must say that uh, Bennett has noted, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen the critics in New York, nor my personal friends, so excited about uh, yes. a, 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 something that's happened at Madison Square Garden. It's a, 
a wonderful, wonderful Very performance. Very pleasant to hear. They have bears that box one another, is that right? Yeah. And, okay. and uh, Even soccer. And, uh, dogs playing soccer. Uh, what kind of, uh, and people just do miracles, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> and you, would you rather be able to do that than, than to teach? Or? Oh, no. I no. love my profession. I, I rather thought that when we got down to the short strokes that you would uh, much. Where do you go from New York? We're going to five more cities. We were in Philadelphia, now we're here in New York. And we're going to Boston, Pittsburgh, Chicago, Milwaukee, and Minneapolis. Ah, Milwaukee and then to Canada. And then to Canada before it's you go. Very long trip. How, how many weeks are you going to be away from home? Too many. It's 11 or 12 weeks. 11 or 12 weeks. Do you find it exciting? Yes, very. Is this your first trip out of uh, first, the Soviet Union? First trip abroad. First trip abroad. Well, I hope that you carry home a good impression of us, because really we're quite nice people. Oh, yes, surely. <laughs> surely. Thank you very much for coming to see us. small pins, presents, for Mr. Daly and for the panel, if you don't mind, I oh, present you with we'd a we'd love to have them. And Thank you. Welcome to the Moscow Circus. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Christina's appearance in... back of it, it says made in Japan. Miss <laughs> Christina's appearance encourages me in another way. I can see that Bennett is very impressed, and I can always hope he'll come to study English from this brief visit that he's here. Now let's meet another contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Henry... Mundinger, is that right, sir? Uh, where are you from, Mr. Mundinger? New York City. New York City? That's right. Oh, well, these folks will all be somewhat familiar to you. May I present the panel, Mr. Mundinger? Okay. Would you join me over here, please, sir? Do you know how we keep score and what's my line? Yes. Yes, sir. All right, in that event, we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. We can tell you that Mr. Mundinger is salaried, deals in a service, and we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Arlene Francis. Mr. Mundinger, do people come to you for your service? Uh, yes. You work indoors? That's right. Uh, do you work in what might be called an office? No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Lawrence. Would you work in a classroom? In a classroom. No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. But you do work in an enclosure of some kind. Mm -hmm. An enclosure. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Uh, is it at any time on the ground? Yes, I think it, we, yes. we would agree that using basic terminology that yes. the enclosure is on the ground. <laughs> well, Mr. Mundinger, does the part of the enclosure in which you do what you do extend upwards somewhere into the atmosphere? No. I mean, are you above the first floor of whatever you are in? Are you above the first floor? Is the enclosure in which you specifically work above the first yes. level? Yes, yes. Uh, may I assume that whatever this is, it doesn't take off? <laughs> it, is yes. it is attached to terra firma. It is attached to terra yes. firma. Uh, is it uh, smaller than the Empire State Building? <laughs> is it smaller than the Empire State Building? Well, a little bit, yes. Yeah. Uh, is it uh, in some place other than Manhattan? Oh, did you say where you were from? New York. Yeah, actually. Oh. 
Is it, is it in some place other, other than, than Manhattan? Other than Manhattan Island. No. Oh, uh, just yes, it's, it's on. It's, what? It's not in Manhattan. It's, it's not, not in Manhattan. Manhattan. It's not in Manhattan. <laughs> that's right. Well, I, that's what I asked. I said, is it someplace other than Manhattan? Oh, I'm Manhattan. sorry. I thought you said it. The building it, doesn't go up. I just I, try it. You can't I'm do just, anything with your back. I haven't asked my Mississippi River question yet. Oh, the harpoon. Um... So it is not in Manhattan, but is it fairly near Manhattan? It, yes. Is it in uh, proximity to water? Not to, uh, uh, no. Uh, it's in reasonable. It's, uh, when you say I mean, proximity, you mean what? Within could a, he walk there? Could you walk from where he from is where to he is. water? Yes. If you're a pretty good walker. <laughs> you know, well, uh, do I take it that you're now giving me President Kennedy's 50-mile measure? Uh, no, not even that, really, because Manhattan's only 20 square miles. Well, you mean miles. contiguous upon water? No, I don't mean continuous upon water. I just mean uh, fairly Proximate. near. Like First Avenue is near the water, isn't it? Fairly near? All right, you go ahead. Is it that far? Mm -hmm. All right. Where am I? But um, uh, New York, Manhattan. Yes, I'm on in Manhattan, seven. but he's not sure, or you're not sure. All right. Um, do you do any work with your hands, Mr. Mongbaker? Yes. Uh, do you do it with something other than pencil or pen and paper? Yes. You work upon some object. Yes. Is this object inanimate? No. A free animal? Inanimate. Yes. yes. Uh, is it something that has, in fact, never been alive? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, is it something that has movable parts? Yes. Uh, does it have any connection whatsoever with batteries or electricity? Yes. Is it in any sense a vehicle? No. No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Well, Mr. Mondinger... <laughs> Does your work bring you in any contact, whatever, with the world of athletics? Yes. Might you have anything at all to do with the impending World Series? Yes. Is the place where you work there for Yankee Stadium? That's right. You do something at Yankee Stadium? That's right. Well, uh, do you sell tickets? No. Four oh, dollars, six to go, Miss Francis. I didn't know they sold tickets on the second floor. They got... <laughs> yes, they do. They do, huh? Uh, do you wear something other than the uh, suit that you're wearing now on your yes. job? Oh, uh, is it uh, uh, is it a cover all rather than a no. uniform of the team? No. 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 Five down and five to go. I'm going to give you one more minute. Mr. Lawrence? Is it a uniform? Yes. Yes. Uh, what I would consider to be a baseball player's uniform? No. No. Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you have anything to do with giving out information to the fans? Yes. Do you operate the scoreboard? Yes. Very good. <laughs> Mr. Mondinger operates... An electronic board. It's electronically controlled and has how many buttons did you say? 5,000. 5,000 yeah. buttons on it. Tell me something. When the Mets play, I know you have nothing to do with the this. The Mets? This is Yankee. When the Mets... I know. <laughs> when the Mets play, he doesn't push any buttons. <laughs> Neither do the Mets. <laughs> I thought you might know because he's in the trade. Uh, there is a certain order of balls and strikes in... Uh, the usual scoreboard, but with the Mets, it's backwards. Why? Everything's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Let's there. Mr. Mundy, you thank you very much for being our guest. And we're lucky to see the series on Wednesday. <laughs> we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of the mystery challenger for which the panel is always blindfolded, as you know. Blindfolds in panel? I mean, blindfolds on channel, panel, on panel, on blindfolds mid-channel, panel. Are you blindfolds there? There you are. They are? Well, good. Will you enter and sign in, please? All 
All right, as you know, panel, we go to a different form of questioning, one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise. We'll begin with uh, Steve Lawrence. Are you in uh, the entertainment industry? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? What was that? that was, yes. Uh, are you a singer? Yes. Mr. Sir? Are you appearing now or about to appear in a Broadway musical show? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Are you appearing now or are you about to appear in a uh, New York uh, club or hotel? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Lawrence. Are you currently in a motion picture playing here on Broadway? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Sounds Sound like you're out of work. <laughs> Are you about to appear in a concert at Carnegie Hall for the benefit of the Gandhi Society for Human Rights? <laughs> Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Who do you think of, Lena Horne? Yes. Uh, are you appearing now or have you recently appeared on television? I don't mean this particular show. <laughs> yes. Miss Francis? That was yes. Um, Does she sound like that when she sings, or...? <laughs> I was thinking of Peggy Lee or, you know, Judy, Julie London. Uh, are you Peggy Lee or Julie London or Steve Lawrence? <laughs> no. Oh, you know who it is? Oh, wait, wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What? What? Who? who? Say who it is. Say who it is. Is it somebody? Uh, uh, are you the mother of my children? wonderful part about it is this. Who's watching the when, children? When, <laughs> when Steve left the house, Edie was uh, hanging over the kitchen sink washing the dishes and the hair is down. And he kept saying, why do you want me to get out of here so early? I said, it's not. They called and said you had to be there at 9 o'clock. He said, but they never wanted me there at 9 o'clock before. I said, Steve, you're going to do a show, do it right. Otherwise, don't do it at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Uh, I don't think it's so wonderful, John. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to say just before I left that... I would like, I would no, really I wanted, like to know how come... I want to congratulate John on his new baby. I hear he had a baby boy this week. Yes. yes. Uh, Congratulations. Week. Thank you very Martin. much. Indeed. He's still trying to find out the source of the Mississippi. That'll be another one. <laughs> I would just like to know how come, you know, you've made it so fast now, but when we have to go out, I always have to sit and wait two hours. <laughs> that showbiz. That showbiz. <laughs> Well, it's a fun. Edie will be on Gary Moore's show on Tuesday night, Steve, and you can watch her then. How's that? All right. Okay. Uh, uh, Thanks Edie, very much. Thank you. Yes, oh, excuse darling. Excuse me. I just wanted to tell Edie how helpful I was being to Steve. I was saying, Rosie Clooney. Rosie and I was, Clooney. I was just going to say you're the mother of my children. She said Rosemary Clooney. I would have. <laughs> Rosemary Clooney is the mother. No. No, this is the same. Good night. Thank See you. See you next time. note, I must say, panel, that you've been doing very well so far tonight, and we'll be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. And Steve Lawrence said that I can tell you that Edie had a wig on, and that's how she got that pretty head of hair so quick, so fast, and on that happy note, let me say that we are preempted next week for a special program on CBS, but we'll be back in two weeks, and good night, Miss Arlene Francis. Good night, John, and good night, Virginia. Good night, dear. Good night, Arlene, and good night, Virginia. That's right. Good night, Dorothy. <laughs> good night, Virginia and Mark, and have a good time in Red Bank. Thank Bennett. you, Dorothy. Good night, Pappy Daly. I thank you, Bennett. Good night, Virginia, and good night, John Earl Jameson, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line. What's 
My Line is a CBS television network production in association with Mark Woodson and Bill Todman. This is Johnny Olsen speaking.